When Master Evil comes to play And Mother says that it's okay Alex and Josh are stole away And made To watch these movies To stay alive Until the day they may escape Before you start, Master Evil, I just really wanted to say thank you for sending that barber out to shave me. This is much more comfortable. I appreciate it. Oh, I forgot to do that. What do you mean you forgot to do it? So who was the guy that sh who was the guy that shaved? Me? Just start the show. Just. Ugh. Well, hello, prisoners. Halloween and Turkey Day fun is over. Now it is time to finally break you! Yes, son. I think you have the perfect torture this time. Oh, God. Do I even want to know? Can't be worse than Halloween 3. Tom Atkins was the fucking worst. Damn it, Josh. Will you quit challenging the evil family? Have you not learned jack shit by now? Silence! We trick your YouTube subscribers into actually voting on how best to torture you. Indeed. Ma, sister, and Mr. Flivel and I picked eight movies and your own fans actually voted on the worst of the worst of those choices and picked a devilishly devious title. <laughs> huh? No, you're the worst. Alex and Josh can take it. Damn it, Rodeo Clown. I just told Josh not to do that shit, and then bing, bada, boom. Not two minutes later, here you go running your fucking clown mouth. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you, Rodeo Clown. I appreciate you standing up for all of us. You guys both need to shut the fuck up. Silence, all of you. Let my little snookums tell you the bad news. <laughs> Indeed. Tonight, you two will have to endure a movie that is filled with confusion, bad cuts, plot points that make no sense, and the cherry on top. POINTLESS JUGGLING! <laughs> That's right. You will be watching... Friday the 13th Part 3! Oh my god, not that pile of shit. Not, we have to watch Shelly? This may finally be the nail in our coffin. Tell you what, can we at least watch it in 3D as intended? No! <laughs> Oh, how truly evil. Yes, you will have to see pointless 3D effects shot after pointless 3D effects shot, and you don't get to see it in 3D. <laughs> yes, we've really outdone ourselves this time. Uh-huh. How is that evil? If anything, they will make one even more comfortable for them because they won't have to wear those irritating cardboard Will you please stop trying to help? Owie! Alex, how could you? Whoa, Alex, Jesus Christ, did you just slap your clown? Wow! How could you slap your clown? That is so horrible. Wait, what? What the fuck? You kidnap us and force us to watch shitty, mo horrible movies until we're dead or until you break us, either one, and you're literally named Master Evil. It's like your thing. True, but we aren't clown slappers now, are we, Alex? Tell your rodeo clown I'm sorry. I wish you'd all stop calling him my fucking clown, but okay, okay. I'm sorry, rodeo clown. That's my bad, dog. 
We'll do some karaoke and hi-ho, cherry-ho later. How's that sound, bud? Huh? Oh, boy. Forgive me. But a clown never forgets. Huh? Yay! Enough. It's time to feed Mr. Flivel. Maybe after he's eaten, he can fill up on all your sweet suffering for dessert. As you watch your damned movie, open the vault! Oh, oh, it's Paramount. That's that's a good sign, right? Yeah, you'd think so. That's what you'd think. It's so quiet. Oh, there we go. A Jason Incorporated production. <laughs> Man, Jason got a piece of the action on this film, huh? Yeah, he was cut in. There's my cut dad joke. <laughs> cut himself in. <laughs> Previously on Friday the 13th. <laughs> Wait, are we watching part two? He tricked us. I wish we were watching. There's Jason running up in the background right there. Hey, bitch! <laughs> yeah, that, that white hood isn't really the best... The best mask for him. I'm glad they changed that. Like, he's not going to know how to get into his own hobo shack. The fact that she went there looking for help is unbelievable, too. Maybe there's someone in this really, really shitty shack that can help me. I wonder if Jason is having reservations about breaking into his own lair. He's like, Damn it, I'm, I want to kill this gal here, but I really don't want to fuck my shit up too bad because I have to live in there. I just got Wi-Fi set up. No, he got Don't Pamela drink my Fi. last Crystal Pepsi. He got Pamela Fi. Don't, don't look at my search history. Man, that head is probably so rank. Don't touch my head. Yeah. She knew how to talk like Pamela. Ah! So Jason definitely has an Oedipus complex, right? A mother complex? Like a, like a in love with mother type thing. No, I think he's, they describe him as, later on, as like he's a grudge. Like he's a grudge against uh, Crystal Lake. I think he's still like a kid in his head. Like in part six, when he uh, doesn't hurt the kids, like walks right by them. Or wow. maybe he just, any, anything that's actually innocent. Yeah. Nail down. What would he have done to Drew Barrymore when she was a little girl? Because she was going out to, like, Studio 54 and, like, taking drugs and dancing and stuff when she was, like, 11. Would he have killed her? I think so, because uh, Tommy was, like, 13 in Part 4, and he tries to kill him. So, yeah. I think, I think he would take her out. Wait, is she getting a little... Oh, never mind. Okay. Wait, my mom doesn't try to cut my head off. He's all, how can, yeah, exactly. He's all <laughs> double vision. He should have been happy. He's like, oh, I got two mommies now. This guy. This guy disappears and we have no idea where he goes at the end of part two. Man, Jason has came a long ways in strength and just, you know, overall presence, physical presence later on in the series if he's having a hard time with this freaking egghead. Right? He's not just knocking his head off with one punch. Yeah, I always, like, you hear these girls that were the uh, survivor girls in these movies at conventions, and they're like, 
well, I think we should all team up and, you know, take Jason on. And I, like, listen to the ones that, from the earlier films, and I'm like, you fought Jason before he was a freaking hulking, dead, unstoppable zombie. <laughs> you would be fucking killed in the first five minutes of a new film. Yep. Well, shit. Oh, that's why people scream when I hit him with that thing. I get it now. He's not dead. Like, a machete no, to the <laughs> shoulder. He'd be very upset and screaming, but he would not be dead from that. You could see that sweater falling apart as she was swinging it. That was pretty cool. They really did a good job with that. That's not... They didn't do that on purpose. That's because the production budget was so terrible that that's the only <laughs> sweater fabric they could actually afford. It had nothing to do with continuity of the storyline. She's like, I'm taking this off because... Uh, he looks like a Klansman. Let's just uh, remove that and let's go. That guy looked at Jason's body like, you played yourself, Jason. You freaking played yourself, bro. <laughs> you did this to yourself, man. You're never going to get ahead in the world like this. He just looked like he was like just disgusted with Jason's personal decisions that had led him there <laughs> to that machete being through his shoulder. You should have found Jesus. Wait, that was in his shoulder. He's resilient, man. That's the, ladies and gentlemen, the world's sharpest machete. Hey, Jason doing the worm. <laughs> Scotty Too Hottie made extra money by <laughs> doing the worm on Friday the 13th Part 2 before his wrestling break. Hey, by the way, by the way, we're still watching Part uh, 2. <laughs> part 2. You know, they wanted her eyes to open up at the end of Part 2. Yeah, because that would make sense. What, for a jump? <laughs> Just for a jump, yep. No reason at all. Like in the video game where, ah, oh, oh, wow, sorry. I thought the letters were coming out of the screen going to hit me, man. The hell? Do you see these letters and do you think Superman? Yes, yes. Larry Zerner, Shelly, Super Shelly. <laughs> like all these names on the screen, it's like the one movie they did. Richard Brooker, one of the one of the better Jasons. Yes. Oh, Peter Schindler. This this theme song, the disco version, this kind of slaps. This is pretty good. Oh yeah, I started uh, every narration for the part three books with this song. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. Over here doing disco in my dungeon. Rob Wilson King. Man. Co-producer, Tony Bishop. He must have co-produced with Jason. <laughs> Jason <laughs> on Incorporated. This yeah. Frank Mancuso Jr. sounds like a mafia name. Did they just take a random... Uh, Dracula scene from the freaking 50s and 60s and put the smoke. <laughs> yes. that's, that scene right there, just insert it from an old Dracula movie. It'll, it'll be cheap. Welcome to Crystal Lake. Here in Crystal Lake. Now, is that Don't. the place... Hey, is that the place where in Jason Goes to Hell they get the Voorhees burgers, or is that a different location? I'm going to say it's the same place, just for the hell of it. Okay. I guess Jason uh, didn't want to wear flannel for this movie. Jason's got to do his laundry some point at some point, man. He's and just out there. Yeah, <clears throat> he's just out there hanging clothes up on the clothesline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! If you're watching the 3D version, watch your face. He looked like right, he was. We, he looked like that he was sizing that up. Uh, bed sheet in the corner pocket. We need to cast someone for the old wife. What do you think? Let's get somebody that's like nineteen. But how are we going to make her look old? Curlers. Just put <laughs> curlers all in her hair. She looks like she's sixteen, dude. So 
do they okay so they live at crystal lake so do they live there year round they're not just campers is that what we're trying to yeah that's the deal here Mm -hmm. i want to know how jason it took so long for him to kill people what do you mean huh what do you mean like, was it his mom's death that, like, finally got him to come out of the woods? Why didn't he try to find anybody for help before that? There's a lot of questions like that that need to be answered, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you changing outside again, Leroy? I'm going to yell at you like an old lady. I got, I got to get ready for cheer practice in the morning. Freaking I wonder who uh, advertised. Coors and Budweiser. <laughs> well, I can see both of them. Columbia and Western Beverage. That's not Jason. That's just the bo- that's they hang up bodies too. Why, Pennywise but, the cl- Pennywise the clown is going to come out of those sheets and say hi. I did not see any clothes remotely like that hanging on the. All I saw was sheets. I think you were wrong about her age, Josh. She's not 19. She looks like she's 17. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) She got cheer practice in the morning. She's mad she has to do all this laundry. She's got to prepare for her sweet 16. For Kinsianetta. He looks like he could be Shelly's dad. Wait a minute. So he named the fish Lionel while there's a Lionel train in the bowl? And what's the other one's name? H2O? Lionel and H2O? (laughs) What a name for a fish. (laughs) That scale, though, looks like a pretty good scale because it says accurate. (laughs) Probably works pretty well. Yeah, when you're when you're weighing the meats, there's accurate and inaccurate. Man, I want some a, inaccurate ham. <laughs> he is a shitty butcher, man. He just put out a, a live rabbit out there with the rest of the product, <laughs> man. Some people like their uh, Haas and Pfeffer rare. This guy right here uh, would later go on to try out for the role of Mario Mario, and uh, <laughs> got you know got denied because Lou Alzate or Chief Lou or. <laughs> Fucking shit. Lou Albano got the part. <laughs> so this is the Did only it, role you'll know him for. And Bob Hoskins or whatever. Oh, man. From, from uh, Roger Rabbit? <laughs> yeah, he, 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 was Mario and he was the Mario Brothers, the movie. Yeah. I just remember being a kid watching the Mario Brothers movie and thinking like, okay, he looks like Mario. I'll, I'll buy that. Uh, this Luigi situation with no mustache is really bothering me, though. <laughs> Yeah. The rabbit's like, why are you forcing me to be in this shitty movie? And then he grabs her and throws her back in the house and pets the rabbit afterwards. <laughs> no, she says put it back where it belongs, so he puts it back in the freaking produce section <laughs> with there the bananas and the coconuts. See, yours is nicer. Mine was like, okay, I'll put the filthy thing back where it belongs. He grabs his wife, throws her in the house. If we had he got went school to- in the morning... Dude, if we went to see this movie in the theaters together and, like, we're 12 minutes in and all we've seen is a seven-minute recap of part two and a guy in a produce uh, store petting a bunny rabbit and a woman (laughs) who's 17 years old doing laundry, I'd be pissed. Did he look in a mirror? Or did he just realize the cops are coming because he's married to a teenager? No, he's having a good time, man. Yeah, that guy's dating above. That guy's uh, well above his uh, pay grade with her. Okay. Okay. That that that's what I was expecting to see in this movie. God, they damn. did not disappoint. <laughs> God damn enchiladas. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I love that they actually had shitting noises for him on the I, toilet right there. I never caught that before, but these new headphones I've got, 
pick up everything. <laughs> I, I did not need to hear that. Heard those. And who has a bottle of Jack Daniels right next to the shitter, by the way? It's kind of anti uh, productive. <laughs> And why is this guy so suspicious of everything? He doesn't know there's a killer out there. Like, the whole time he's been, like, nervous and looking for things. That, he, he doesn't know anyone's out there. He thinks there's rabbits hiding everywhere. Yeah, what's his deal? He's just totally crazy. He just loses. This, he, this is the unraveling of Mario Mario. Oh, there's no way that toilet's that clean on the inside. He just blew it up, and I didn't hear him flush. He's like, I don't know what's going on, but there's some music playing. Everybody needs a fire extinguisher right next to their toilet. <laughs> oh, man, I've had those days. Hot sauce, man. <laughs> sometimes sometimes you got to get that fire extinguisher out. <laughs> Just in case you blow the toilet up for real, you need to be able to put it out quickly. Hot, 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 hot. Why is it spicy? <laughs> Potty people taking shits at Crystal Lake, Lake, Lake. I'll stick my head out here a second time. Oh, that'll kill you instantly, for sure. I don't think that yeah. really would have, actually, Josh, because that didn't hit any vital uh, organs. Just being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, no, like, I, got he, no, I got no questions about how that works. I'll take it. He's alive, and he is suffering right now. Hey, at least uh, when he dies completely he won't be uh his bowels won't be uh clearing out he took care of that beforehand instead just a big old fart cuts <laughs> loose Whew. hey that looked like what roy wore in part five that hanging up back there See, he just comes back to this house every movie to get new clothes get his new threads uh the, you know that smoke that i said was a dracula restock like a stock footage scene like, with all the smoke yeah. in the background. That was actually because he just shit. That was just footage of this guy dying, and that was the fart he cuts loose when he dies. Well, she's screwed. That was actually... <laughs> ah! Sorry. That was actually kind of disturbing. That was pretty real. That baseball bat scared the shit out of me, man. I'm sorry. I know. You hate sports. No, it was like, it was 3D. Did you see that? Oh, I thought it was coming out of my TV. Well, that, that did look pretty real, though. That was, that was sick. Oh, little trivia, Slashaholics. The mask that he's wearing was the one that Jason was originally going to wear in the movie. Well, why did they change it, Josh? Because he would have been wearing that. <laughs> Somebody thought a hockey mask would look scarier. But yeah, that was going to be his mask. In one of the books, he's wearing that mask. The whole, the whole book. And, it's, and the cover has like the shitty hockey mask that's on the cover of part five of the movie. That Jason never wears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's on the cover of the book for part three. But Jason's wearing a clear mask the whole book. There's nothing about this character that I like. I don't like Shelly at all. I, I don't like Shelly or... That's a story for another time. I don't like any of these characters in this film. No, no, no. I, I don't think they were actually saying much. You're not going anywhere. I'm leaving. Why does she have to ask to leave uh, when she's 27 years old? Oh, no, that's just Shaggy and Scooby grilling hot dogs. Wait a minute. Why does that girl have to ask to go on a date when she's 27? And also, why does she need a blind date when she's hot? I'm not, I'm not understanding either one of these plot points. And that was a lot of smoke for just two people smoking pot. Just saying. They, they were Cheech, vaping back there. Cheech and Chong's stand-ins.
Look like me. Juggle. Wear masks. Drive Volkswagens. Pick fights with gang members in tiny stores. There's a lot of things Wait. to do. That's what happens when you're pregnant? You, you, you drive bad and you're running late? Ah! Oh, Damn. Sorry. 3D joint. Oh, wow. It actually came out of the screen. I'm going to get high over here. Wait, what little thing is she going to stick around and see? I don't know, but... No, it's, uh, no, is it really the cops? Really? Shelly's hair is on a whole different level in this scene right here, man. That is feathered and lethal today, buddy. It's teased to perfection. Look at that thing. <laughs> They're both pregnant? Yeah, dry that would be. Eating. You know how fast you were going. <laughs> what? Eating weed what? like that would be horrible, man. It'd be almost as horrible as watching this fucking movie. So how far are we into this now? I don't know. Minutes. Like, <laughs> it feels like an hour and a half, but I'm guessing seven, seven minutes. The cast of chips. The cops like, hey, we've got word that there's a shitty movie being filmed on this location. <laughs> hey, if there's any shitty movies being filmed or produced around here, we're gonna find out who did it. God damn it! Oh, we're gonna arrest the, them. The mystery machine's gonna have to pick up the case of the two dead people. There's the last that, people that Master Evil uh, tried to have riff this film. They're dead now. They're being wheeled out in an ambulance. That's our future, Josh. I know. I, I pray for it. The sweet, sweet release of death. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I take my naps at. Damn, my That's father's in this movie. Really? Like your grandfather? You're like 60, aren't you? <laughs> That guy looks like a fucking 1949er prospector, gold prospector in the 1800s, man. I'm here for the California gold rush, goddammit. How did I end up here? Here's you and I. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you for filling us in. So this is the crazy Ralph uh, character yep. of this film. He's warning us. We wouldn't watch if we didn't have to, sir. Thank you. And we get the pun. I have warned ye. Got it. Higgins Haven. Home of shitty third installments in franchises that go way too long. Oh my god, they actually took the time to foreshadow something. Jason's like, god damn it, I just got this nice place. I just got this place all to myself. I just killed everybody else before. We're so, supposed to believe that's Jason watching the skinny little <laughs> dude at the window? Could be, because he was even skinnier in part two. Oh, another foreshadow. Shelly was juggling. Foreshadowing of him juggling to juggling in another scene? What? Yes. What's... So what? <laughs> it's a big payoff. <laughs> that's, that's the payoff, man. All right, we're going to have Shelly juggling in the background of a scene, and then later on we're going to pay that shit off by having him juggle in another scene later on in the film. It's art, damn it. It's a th it's a three D juggling scene though, right? They're like the balls are supposed to be like coming close to the camera. Just some strange guy. She walks in the house. Mwah. 
I didn't give consent, Rick. You, like, strangled me and threw me against the wall, but you're fine. Cracking open a core, Xana, bud? Why didn't Rick straighten that, man? Was he just standing at the window for, like, a week waiting on them to show up? No, dude. He saw the van coming over that shitty bridge, and he had the biggest boner ever in those freaking <laughs> Wranglers of his. He was waiting to spring his trap on her, so he'd give her a little smoocheroo, dude. He doesn't have time to straighten fucking paintings. He's ready to attack. Looks like Tom Atkins from Halloween 3, but younger. He's got more he's... wrinkles than I got. Yeah, he's probably a doctor somewhere, and he's probably actually supposed to be on shift right now if he's anything like Tom Atkins. You gonna get the canoe while you're up there? Really? Really? No, you said something. I, I plainly heard you say a sentence. So Jason looked in their car. Waiting is for that you to come more, up so can... <laughs> Is that any more hard to believe than Michael Myers driving a car in Halloween 5? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Jason has a bad habit of people catching him going into barns. I'm sorry. The wind moved the doors and... Jason's on the hammock. He's like trying to pretend like he's not there. They pull the door back, that little thing back, and Jason's like whistling, trying to look the other way. Mm -hmm. uh... Good thing I know how to set up a hammock. Man, I thought from 80s TV shows and movies that I would have sp spent a lot more time in hammocks as an adult. But uh, I don't think I've ever even been in one hammock in my entire life. Yeah, me either. I've, I've never been in a hammock. I, I thought the same thing. Thought they were everywhere. Yeah, I thought just like quicksand. I thought I thought at every uh, possible chance when I went outside, I might uh, find myself in quicksand. Hey, Rick, be sure you take your shirt off before you start moving that hay around. Rick's kind of jacked want, here. You want to get nice and sweaty so it's like uh, fiberglass. God, he's moving around that hay bale. It's like kind of hot. He's probably getting sweaty. He's, he's going to start itching like a motherfucker here in a bit. Oh, yeah, that hay is going to be sticking to him. I grew up on the kind of farm. Yeah, he's going to start itching, man. If he if he's allergic to grass or grass seed at all, he's fucked, man. He, he better worry about that, not Jason. Okay, when do people start dying? I mean, seriously. They actually start dying as soon as we start recording this episode. <laughs> Yeah, us. It's killing me slowly. You and I. That's a pregnant woman. He's like, ah! And let's go. <laughs> if, if she is the pregnant one, she's not being very responsible. Oh, they're already getting after it on the hammock. You hear that scream in the background, Josh? <laughs> you hear that, that girl scream? Yeah. That was actually me when I found out we were having to watch this movie. They just reuse the same audio. There's going to be some people watching going, but this is the best Jason movie. Oh yeah, this is a freaking classic. Sorry, we actually like Jason X and Jason Goes to Hell as our top two favorites, so. Yeah, I also like New Blood, <laughs> so deal with it. And New Beginning. No, just me, Jason. I mean, uh, what was his name? Rick. New, new beginning smells like a feminine, uh, like hygiene product, like a feminine spray. <laughs> <laughs> smells Friday, like it. Friday the 13th, a new beginning. Start your day off with a new beginning. My final chapter isn't so fresh. <laughs> I've got that, my final chapter has that not so fresh feeling. You know what you need then? You need a fire extinguisher full of new beginnings to spray, <laughs> to spray, out, spray down your butthole. <laughs> Is 
Don't look at him. He's ugly. Stop it. You're hilarious, Shelly. No, 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 really. Who talks that, like that? <laughs> I guess I fooled you. That girl you didn't mean is, to? That girl is literally suffering from, like, a chronic, terrible case of PTSD. That's the reason they're here. And he pulls some shit like that. He just, I know, right? I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to put the fake butcher knife into my on my head and hide in the closet and make you think I was killed. Wait a minute. There, Jason Voorhees is roaming this area around, and then they also have Ted Bundy's Volkswagen on property. They're fucked. <clears throat> he's that's not right. Be able I said fucks. Hey, he's not going to be able to ride shotgun with her if that's Ted Bundy's Volkswagen because there's no fucking passenger seat or door handle. I think he'd just kick Shelly out. What? You won't kill me? Oh, I Man, no one's that... ever going to kill me. I just invited the fat afro-headed guy because I thought you might want to fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for an homage to Mystery Science Theater, but we do cuss and we're crass. Get over it. We're our it's own only, thing. It's only attempted rape. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, we're our own thing. I never once said that we're Mystery Science Theater. How's the getting over being sexually assaulted like six months ago and coming back for some reason? Man. So you, wait, wait, so she does accept them? Shelly. She doesn't accept food stamps, and she's not going to be able to accept any food stamps for your smut, either. I'm really glad they changed Jason's mask for this movie. I'm just saying. I wish you'd put me down. All right, Slashaholics. The thug on the left. He is one of the bouncers in Fright Night that gets slaughtered in the nightclub at the end of the movie when Charlie Brewster is chasing uh, his girlfriend around the dance uh, club. Oh, wow. And the rubber. Sir. Uh, Ma'am. Why is the music playing right now? I don't know, and why is there a random gang, like, giving these people a problem when they did nothing wrong to anybody? Like, they didn't even approach these people. They didn't accidentally, like, drop something of theirs. They didn't step on something. You know what I'm saying? They did nothing. There's no reason for this. Is there a rival gang in Crystal Lake? Since since when are the sticker machines and the gumball machines outside, outside the grocery store? That's the weirdest thing about this whole movie. Not the killer, the unbeatable, Did, or the Ted Bundy didn't Volkswagen. You, didn't you see the little horsey ride on the inside? I did not. I'm, I'm, yeah, I didn't either. He looks so good. Oh, my God. Oh, he's so sexy. Oh, I thought that's what Shelly was thinking. You ever try? Yeah, he, do you ever try? He did have that look. He's like, oh, Shelly yeah. hitting on me? Is Shelly <laughs> hitting on me? You ever tried to drive a Volkswagen? The, the manual stick is totally different than a normal manual like stick transmission. Like backwards. You know how fast you were going? This movie has been sponsored by Coors, Budweiser, Cheez-Its, and Olympia Beer. Oh, and Crest's tooth whitening toothpaste. That guy had the nicest teeth I've ever seen in my whole life. That gang Dude, leader there. There was no tooth whitening in the early 80s, man. That gang leader has, like, the pearliest whites I've ever seen. Why the hell is Shelly driving when he? this isn't his Volkswagen? 
and he wasn't the one driving to begin with. Why is he driving now? He's just fucking everything up again. I did it! I did it! And then, like, Glass Shard just goes into his juggler from driving too fast. Well, Okay, I'm coming back. I'm gonna come back and take my ass whooping. <laughs> like a man. Ah! Yo! Around the world! You know how some people can walk the dog? I was always good at just, like, slinging the dog and breaking his leash. Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! That's what she said. I'd get a yo-yo, like, every book fair. Every scholastic book fair that we'd have at the grade school, and then I'd play with it until the string got just balled up, and then it was just fucked, and then I'd have to wait till the next book fair to get another one. Exactly. You see Jason's face a second ago? Sure did. He, he was looking out the bar, and he stopped at uh, the barber shop before he came to Higginshaven. Got his hair cut, got his shave, nice hot shave. Yeah, oh, really... it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're real sorry. We fucked your windshield up, your body of the Volkswagen, the, the side windows. Oh, there might be a gang coming after whoever owns this car. Okay, so there's Jake. Yeah, Jason is looking out the window there. Yep. He, he got all that haircut since the last movie. He had more luscious hair than I had at the end of part two. Nobody has more luscious hair than you. Nobody. Well, All right. They go run into the other gang in town, the rival gang of the other one. Jason's like, you know what? He got his car fucked up by his friends. They've had a shitty day. I'll wait till tomorrow. I'll give them tonight. We are 36 minutes in to this movie, and there hasn't been one kill yet. Well, there's some nips for you. Oh, hey, her nipples are showing, too. You see his face? Woohoo! Oh, boy! <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, you're lying! Oh, my gosh! Jason rolls his uh, pants up. What gang members in the 80s dress like they're in the 50s? The, they're the Fonzies. <laughs> I mean, what the, yeah, the font. Did Stephen King write this Friday the 13th movie? Nobody heard that. <laughs> the secret password so nobody hears us. Just bark like a fucking dog. <laughs> oh. Did someone say Ghoulies 4? <laughs> you know, that's going to be season 4 premiere. Maybe we'll get canceled. Season four. He doesn't want to fuel up another car. He just really loves to taste the gas. He's thirsty. Get that cigarette out of here. It's a movie. It'll blow it up. If it was real life, it wouldn't. She's like, oh, I'm just going to go check out this barn while my gang member friends over here commit a felony. I'm not even going to stay near... Uh, to my friends here, so we can make a quick getaway. <laughs> I'm going to make this as difficult as possible. She's got a barn fetish, the way she's looking at it. Mm. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Everywhere, hey. Has she never seen a barn before? What is this look of wonder? <laughs> oh. Whee! So she hates hay and sleds. And she loves percussion. Okay. Oh, she is showing these people. I bet they never mess with her again. This barn's wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> they let me stay here rent free. Can we use that saddle on me? I just do all the landscaping. I pick up. I feed the animals. Do a little killing. 
Exterminating, exterminating. It's really not a bad deal. It used to be me, just me and my mom, but now it's just me, so I don't really... She, it, it, are you mad that, that that old rusty canteen was empty? <laughs> don't Thanks touch for hanging that. it back up. <laughs> hey, don't, don't touch my canteen that's filled with human balls and human eyeballs and human <laughs> testicles and assholes. That was a nice 3D effect you just caused. No, she like tried to dump the canteen out, and when it was empty, she hit it. She went in there for water, goddammit. Hey! Just me, the killer. I mean, no one. Can you move this camera so I can get through? Thank you. And find, find Foxy. Foxy. <laughs> hey, find her, God damn it! She probably went in that damn barn. You know how much Foxy loves barns. <laughs> Anytime we're around a barn, Foxy's ass just goes straight to a barn. And if there's a canteen in there, you ain't gonna see her for a couple days. <laughs> Look what I can do! Wee! <laughs> Stuart, I love Stuart. Barnes. Stuart, no, Stuart. You know what he told you about fucking swinging outside of Barnes again? He knows you love Barnes. <laughs> what the hell? You looked down for like five seconds. She could have got off the rope. Just wait a second. <laughs> She's not on the rope anymore. That's suspicious. Any, any rope swing uh, that was attached to a tree when I was a kid, there was always somebody that all, would always take it a little bit too far, and they would always fall off that goddamn rope and fuck themselves up irre irreparably. Yep. Or not let go of it and end up hitting... Yeah, uh, not let... Hit, hit the yeah. tree in the back, not let go, not jump off when they're supposed to, go too far. There was always something that would happen. Try to do a flip or something, just fuck themselves up. <clears throat> and you can bet one thing, Josh. I was going to be there to witness it. <laughs> I was going off a rope swing into a creek one time, looked down, saw a copper, uh, water, moss, water moccasin at the top of the water. Yeah. And I, I, sw I swung back and hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a cartoon character. You're like just flattened against the wall. Oh, you really got freaky with the barn this time, Foxy. Damn. Well, they have a lot of lot of rakes and pitchforks there. Still got the SIG going, man. He really is committed to that SIGI. 3D! Uh! He took Viagra before he was killed. Yeah, I was going to say, he's just got a massive boner by looking at Foxy. Wait, he gave one of those cans to dude while ago. <laughs> Foxy, quit doing the barn and come on. Yeah, Foxy, stop sitting. having... Yeah. Foxy, stop having the goddamn time of your life in that barn. I knew I shouldn't have brought her here. So if dude. I remember correctly, this guy lays there like half dead for the rest of the movie and then pops up again, right? I don't remember, and I, he just looks straight at the camera, by the way. <laughs> hey! Have I used that one too much? I'm sorry. That dude probably weighs less than a hay bale, actually, because he, he's a tiny little guy. That guy probably weighs about a buck ten. Hey! <laughs> Foxy, is that you? No, hey, I'm here me. to kill you. I'm here to kill your ass. Yeah, he, he, he went, did he really look down in the corner like he was going to be hiding under a rock or something? <laughs> no. no. Damn, dude. What is he, just chopping his arm off? You're dumb. You looked underneath the hay belt and kept looking like you thought I was there. I'm foreshadowing my death. Yeah, doesn't he get the doesn't he get the 
machete straight through the dick. Yes. Jenny's like, no, there's a, there's like a deformed dude looking out of the window right there. Do you not see him? Fuck this. I'm, I'm going this way. <laughs> the windows are steamed up because, the, like, Jason's so turned on by watching that guy walk on his hands. The steam is coming off of his penis, man. He's got it. Even the, even the steam uh, is coming out of his little hockey mask on top of his <laughs> Jason's penis. <laughs> that, that guy took off running after her. Okay, I see him now. <laughs> He's doing something freaky in there. He's steaming up the windows. Except for the rapey nights. Yeah, it's so damn peaceful around here. Especially, I mean, it's even more quiet than it should be because it, it feels like there's less people uh, alive around here than, than, than there should be, right? Don't you feel like there's a lot of people dead right now? Don't you love this romantic spot I brought us to by the sewer pipe? Wait, what? She, she put the she put the sewer pipe there? He pointed right at it. Yeah, she put that sewer pipe up there because he keeps making sexual advances at her and she's not ready for it because she's going to let people oh. know that Jason tried to rape her. Ah, there's the payoff. Ah! Was was Larry Zerner ever in anything else? Um, my boring, pathetic life. I mean, seriously, I he's like an, I think he's like an attorney now or something. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. Yeah, I've never seen, like, he seems like he really likes himself. <laughs> Let's not make him mad. He is an attorney. He might shut us down. <laughs> oh, is that so? No, he's not a creep at all. Shelly tries exactly. to shut us. Shelly tries to shut us down. He's an attorney after all, and uh, he's like, "I'm gonna come after all your revenue streams. I'm gonna take you okay. guys from zero dollars to zero dollars overnight." <laughs> so you took our Blu-rays and shirts and board game away. <laughs> you got. You took our board game and Blu-ray. <laughs> I'm gonna take fifty percent of everything you got from this show. So you're going to pay the debt we have for all the production costs that we put into the show. <laughs> yeah, Shelly, dude, don't be surprised. You have no fucking game. You're annoying. You, you've fucked that Volkswagen up when all she wanted to do was go to the store by herself. You ruined that. Now there's play, a gang coming after her constantly. Yeah, you played dead. Uh, and the poor gal has PTSD severely. She's building sewer pipes to in an attempt to not get laid. That was her sister, but close. Ah. Wait, is the pregnant one, is she the one that Jason attacked? No, it's this one. Okay. Let's say it was Jason the dad. Why the hell would Jason rape someone? I don't, I'll never understand that. Uh, hey. That is a plot point that should have never been addressed. It's ridiculous. It makes no sense at all. They never brought it up ever again either. Jason just Jason. trying to get a little. Jason just trying to get a little ass on the side there for one time. He looks in the. He looks in the window. It's like I could kill. No, that that dude's already got a fate worse than death. I'll uh, I'll come back to him later. You oh well when a guy oh she got it. Oh, well, you got to use your feet. I don't know. Is there different rules? Well, when a man and a woman really love each other and they want to express that love. In Shelly. a hammock. In a hammock. Oh, I got it stuck in between one of the ropes. That sewer pipe is just flowing, man. It's not, there's a lot of toilets flushing. It's back. Oh, up. please ex explain it to us. Make us understand. She's going to make us understand what happened. Josh, that so sewer pipe is flowing because all that water's backed up because Mario Mario in the first scene blew <laughs> the dead. toilet up. Yeah, he blew the toilet up so much that it just fucking backed it up. So now all the water's going the opposite way. 
she's she's gonna she's gonna tell us and make sense of why Jason did what he did. Oh, that's why Jason did it. She's all God damn these good looks of mine. <laughs> and that turned Jason on. I liked it too. And right into Jason's arms. I was wearing a shirt that said, I'll have sex with the first guy I see. Looking back now, that was a regrettable mistake. And that made perfectly good sense. <laughs> and it was, I was so cold, my nipples were hard. And <laughs> this man who was carrying around his mother's decapitated head showed I slept up. And... Against, I slept against a tree like I always do. So anyway, I'm giant sleep- head was in front of my body. Go ahead. So anyway, I'm sleeping against this tree in the middle of the woods by myself in a sweater that looks like it's something that I'd wear to semi-formal in the 80s. And this giant head that looked just like me kept like fading in and out of the reality in front of me. He doesn't even have like a weapon. He's just got a box of Trojan condoms. <laughs> Oh my god, you can see the top of the head where the mask was. The prosthetic. (laughs) I don't think a lot anyway, so it works. That giant head of mine kept fading in and out of the screen, too, during everything. It made it hard for anybody that might be watching to see what's happening. Nothing about this makes sense. I guess Jason got horny one night. I don't know. Are we now? Does it say that he raped her? Or are we just are we just assuming that she just wakes up in bed, her bed? So I don't know. He took her home. I, I at least he 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 fed her, he bed her, and he was sweet enough to take her back home. So so wait a second. And sec. he talked to the parents. <laughs> Dude, she better have taken an STD test after that. She doesn't know what kind of Crystal Lake shit she's got. You don't know what kind of super top secret STD she got from Jason, man. They named... I got an STD. They even named it after me. It's like a really bad yeast infection. That damn battery. You have Voorhees Iphilus. It's really bad. Almost spit Pepsi, thank you. <laughs> little Got a sip of mask. <laughs> little, little hockey masks come out of your vagina. <laughs> Wait, is that windshield broken that still? Windshield, no, that windshield is fixed, dude. Oh, wow. Super mechanics. Hey, man. He's I gotta so go perfect. open the record shop, man. With Hyde. <laughs> He's sober for the first time in like five years. Like, where the fuck am I? He is a 100% Tommy Chong ripoff. Oh, yeah. Everybody gets mad that Freeberg and Freddy vs. Jason was a ripoff of Jay and Silent Bob. But like, they did, they did this stoner ripoff situation 30 years before that movie with Tommy Chong. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Yeah, here's a, so they always say don't have sex, don't use drugs, you know, don't do whatever. I, well, one other thing you can't do at Crystal Lake is take a shit. <laughs> Crystal Lake has a lot of outhouses. Come to think of it, <laughs> don't I even guess... da- don't even try to shit at Crystal Lake, Josh. Because if you do, you're fucking dead. <laughs> Who designed the door to that? Like the instead of just painting a moon on it, they cut one in the door so you can just sit there and watch people take a crap. Oh, man, you know, there's a fetish for everything nowadays, Josh. Josh, come on now. You know there's somebody just loving watching this guy take a big dump. Who stopped the toilet paper? Ooh, baby. (laughs) Ooh, baby. (laughs) Man, that shit's so good. The the outhouse is shaking, huh? Oh, wipe your butt for... Oh, my God. Come on, man. He's going to die with mud butt, Josh. That's a terrible way to go out, man. Marker butt's the worst. 
Let us know in the comments if you've ever had marker butt. It sucks. <laughs> wipe and wipe and wipe, and there's still a line. Okay, so Jason shook the outhouse and wants <laughs> him to follow him in there? Ooh, Jason's getting frisky again. What's Shelly been doing to you in the off screen, man? Juggling more than apples, apparently. Juggling his nuts off screen. Talking legal stuff with him. Man, that looked just like a Scooby Doo scene right there where they like open the door and their both heads kind of go around the, the wall there. Old Man Voorhees! <laughs> Old Man Burns, the paramedic. This movie was filmed, like, they must have had, like, no money for locations, because all the killing is done in the barn here. This is my favorite map in the Friday the 13th video game. I like to hide in these little stalls with my shotgun or something. Oh, no, no, a pothead like him would not throw that weed on the ground. He would put it out, like he would lick his finger, put it out, and then put it in his shirt pocket for later. He wouldn't yeah, waste we, a grain. Weed was not legal back then, by the way, so that shit was probably really expensive. Wait, you gotta look behind a hay bale. Look at the ground in the corner he might be hiding down there. <laughs> he was so sexy, he wanted me to follow him. Hey, he's got another one ready. We can't hear you. Where was he at? Where was he at, Alex? I don't know where he was at, and I don't know what his his deal is, because what was... He shook the outhouse, and then he could have killed them both right there. He's like, oh, no, there's two of them, and she's going to protect him. I, I'm going to have to wait till she's not around. Whew. Hey, Josh. That was a close one. That's how she knows the fish are actually biting. Because... Because the fish, you know, jumped up and <laughs> grabbed her, you know, and bit her. I'm such an asshole. I'm the worst. <laughs> no, it's in the script. I really have to. If I don't do it, these two guys will make fun of me in my head. One of them is named Alex, and he's really quiet. I'm just taking in this film, man, and, like, this this wetsuit must have been a real situation for him to get into, because that thing is holding on with a hope and a prayer, dude. And I can't stand people that, uh, I'm gonna go on a tangent here, I can't stand people, like, the way Shelly's acting, it's like, I want you to, well, because of this, and I, I'm like this, and I know you don't like me, it's like, well, do something about it, then, go for a fucking jog, <laughs> like... Stop eating so much. Like, figure it out like I did. Like, I don't want to fucking hear this. I have to act this way. Because I have no, you know, impulse control. Like, I can't fucking go exercise. Like, if you got a problem with it so bad and you got to fuck everyone else to stay up because you hate yourself, like, maybe you need to fix it, dude. I'm starting to think the barn is the true villain in this movie, man. The barn is... They're drawn the to it. The dairy main of Friday the 13th is the barn. <laughs> Everybody is fucking drawn to this barn. There's no, I, there's no, there's no reason though. There's nothing in there. I know he was eyeing. Barn. He was watching her in the dock, and he sees the barn. He's like, "Oh barn, oh barn." It's like, man, hot ass girl or fucking just old ass barn. Old ass barn. If only I was two inches taller, but I have to be this short. His wetsuit almost looks like a Sub-Zero outfit from, like, Mortal Kombat. Right? It looks like a Power Ranger. sub Shelly. Alien Ranger, light blue. Because I really want to see it in 3D. It's morphin' time. Shitty practical joke. Aquatar Ranger 5, blue. <laughs> no, he just says, awkward guy. <laughs> Awkward, Wait. terrible joke guy. 
I want to know what the spider that put that cow head in a web looks like, because that thing would probably scare the shit out of me. Peter Parker also lives in the bar. Like, like with Charlotte's Web, everybody's worried about the pig. I'd be like, catch that spider. It can fucking write. Shelly doesn't have a driver's license in his wallet. He just got a picture of his mom. <laughs> Aww. And a condom. Good thing I'm not a cold-hearted bitch like I've been acting the whole movie. She hasn't done anything wrong, Josh. No, but like, all of a sudden she's grown a conscience about going and saving his wallet. Well, I guess since I ain't gonna screw him, I don't want to add insult to injury and let his Velcro fucking wallet disappear. And his 17 cents he's got in that wallet. And the rubber and the picture of his mom. <laughs> Did you actually see a rubber? I don't think I saw one. At, they, at the gas station, uh, what's her name, pulled it out. Yeah, that's definitely Shelly walking up there. He's like a foot taller and... Oh, there you go. I'm 3D Hawkeye. slash Alex, here it comes. Here comes a big 3D shot, guys. Ah! I didn't see that coming. I was scared. I ran out of eye puns. I can't take any more of your eye puns. He could have at least found a shirt that fit him. Dude, anybody could have played this Jason role. I take it back. Richard, this guy's not very good. <laughs> anybody could have played this Jason. He's not doing anything. They're still trying to figure out how to do it in a hammock. <laughs> Are the physics the same? Well, you're not going up and down. You're going side to side, baby. Oh, we, we get the glistener. We need to get her glistening a little bit more for this scene. Yeah, because I didn't want to tell you, but you've been like screwing a hole in the hammock for the past 10 minutes. Dude, I don't want to hear that guy's bedroom voice, Josh, ever again <laughs> in my life. Jason's realized his luck with the barn is probably going to run out, so it's time to go to the house. Everybody that's in love with barns are dead now. So, what have they been doing for entertainment uh, other than screwing in that hammock? There's no radio, there's no TV. What, did they eat dinner today? Well, the, the score keeps playing. It's keeping them entertained, and they're listening to us make fun of them. So. They, oh, so, they, they, so not just Bloodwings could hear us riff. Uh, these characters can also hear us. It's upside down, man. Dude, uh -oh, okay. He said he'll be right back. Okay, hold on a second, man. So this dude just had sex. They're in, she's in the shower. He needs to pee after... He, yeah. This guy is risking a urinary tract infection. He hasn't peed yet, and he hasn't showered yet. That's the most dangerous part of this film for that guy. Not Jason. His lack of... Uh, being clean after having sex. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason is about to kill a pregnant woman. Is there a guy standing out there with a machete? How'd you know? That, that was actually kill more, more brutal. Uh, they, the MPAA or whatever made him cut it. It like went all the way down like into his gut. Yeah, but that, I mean, that wouldn't kill him either. You Not can't instantly. A, you can't, I don't even think you can cut a machete through denim. <laughs> can not you? 80s, not 80s Wrangler denim, no. Like, I mean, you probably could, but can you <laughs> cut it through the pants and then up through his asshole and then through his dick? <laughs> she opens the curtain and Jason's upside down walking on his hands. Man, she's just taking body shots and face shots all night long. Boom, shh. Shower head filled with liquid all over her, man. That guy walking on his hands, giving her body shots and the fucking facials of the hammock dog. How great would that have been, though? She opens the curtain and Jason's walking on his hands with a machete. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> hey, that guy looked like he was pretty good at it. I've just been in the barn all day long. Like, I'm bored. The power the barn has over people. 
can only do that to a certain amount, so everybody's safe from the barn, I think. They've learned how to resist its uh, aura. The barn has the power of the um, the three witches on the island in the ocean with the snakes on their hair, Medusa or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the siren song. That's the barn. I want that beer two minutes ago. Andy. Andy. Yeah. Andy. Andy, I want that beer, and I want your ass back in the hammock in the next five minutes for some more booty. Alex, I hate it when you don't answer me. I really hate this. Alex! Okay, he's there. That hammock is probably just filthy now, though, huh? Oh, yeah. Heads up. Hey, Fangoria! I bet you put a blue... uh. Thompson like a black a black light over that friggin' hammock. There is just trace load evidence all over the place. I just got off my period. Man, Kevin he, Kevin Bacon, huh? She's got the Kevin Bacon kill right there. She died and her unborn baby just died. Jason just killed a child, people. Was she pregnant? Yes, yeah, she was pregnant. Are you sure she wasn't just joking? No, she was pregnant. She went and smoked the weed and stuff earlier in the van. She said, um, we're pregnant, remember? I don't remember that. Yeah, she's pregnant. Go but check it out later. That's the way to make popcorn, man. Jiffy Pop. That's not Jiffy Pop. No, but on the stove. Jiffy it Pops was... smelt like weed when I was a kid. Yeah, that, that you heard screaming. Scalding hot popcorn was coming out of the pan into my throat. Between you and Shelly, I'm about to have a heart attack or two. You, you scared me so bad, woman, with that, that I almost had to take a shit again. And the last time I took a shit, I was out there and someone shook the outhouse while I was shitting, damn it! And come to think about it, I haven't wiped yet. Good lord, okay. that was a lot of salt. I was just going to say the same thing. It's like, okay, like, maybe be, don't be so generous with the salt. Can you imagine putting your hand in that particular part of the bowl of popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dry up like a slug. This shit is dry. Hey, it's the Ghoulies basement. Is we gonna get a narrator? <laughs> and so it began. <laughs> Thirty-five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that guy's load from the hammock. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just semen all over the place. Oh man, people are turning off right now. <laughs> they're now. Like, okay, they're barn fucking. <laughs> we gotta go. Too much. Damn it, guys, semen in 3D. <laughs> and 4D. <You'll, laughs> New dimension and smell. You'll feel you'll feel like you got a facial yourself. Oh, you've had skunk bud before, man. It's cool. You ever looked at something like that and went, <laughs> all right. No, it, I never understood porno like that back in the 50s, because isn't it just a drawing of a pinup? It's not even an actual picture. I guess so. Just me, Jason. You yeah, like barns? I'm, I'm going to kill you. You want to join my barn appreciation club? Dude, if he doesn't die from Jason out there, he's going to die from fucking that popcorn, bro. Jason didn't even cut his neck. He was trying to look in the barn to see what they were doing. And he just, like, slit his own throat on the edge. They don't even show... So they didn't even show him get no. killed. They just show that. I told you I was here. Don't act surprised. Oh! Ah! What? 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 He was just touching all of that barefoot in the water a minute ago, and it did nothing. Well, I mean, it's it's Jason's barn, man. You can't trust his wiring, dude. He is a mongoloid, uh, hydrocephalic child that drowned in the lake. He probably has no experience or any uh, training in electrician's stuff. Josh? Shelly, get up. No, I'm not. I guess I really fooled you, huh? Uh-huh. 
I'd be pissed off, man. She had the whole popcorn bowl ready, man. She was ready to settle in for the night. Kill some now slugs. Her, yeah, her whole night's ruined. Salty. Hey, masked hockey man with the fire poker, can you help me? Oh, it's, it's haunted, too. Well, it's almost 3D. Hey, at least she's not going to get infected because it's nice and sterile because it's hot as fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, is he going to go rape the body or something? He thinks, how... he thinks he's taking everybody home to their beds like he did that one girl two years ago or whatever. That's how he makes uh, shish kebabs. Like, he's just making dinner, dude. Just like I made that shitty joke. <laughs> Nah, you think we should go home? Yeah, I think everybody else is dead now. We can go have some fun. What was yeah, that supposed no. to mean? Are they perverts or something? Are they gonna have a like? Are they gonna have a tornado or a hurricane at Camp Crystal Lake? I mean, that wind is pretty furious tonight. I mean, it is connected to the ocean, so it could be a hurricane. Of course, the Lazarus just pulled up, man, for the senior class. Freddy versus Jason. The book actually explains how it's connected to the ocean. It's crazy. Yeah, and I'm sure it makes total sense, too. No wonder someone put this chair... I mean, he didn't pause. He should have said, no wonder some idiot put the chair here. But he's like, no wonder some idiot put this chair here. I don't think the guy knew how to read his script correctly. I mean, he might not have. I've never seen him in anything else before or since this film. <laughs> oh, no, please do not kill me. When they, when they cast this guy, they're like, we just need somebody that looks really good in a barn with their shirt off and somebody that just can fill out a freaking dress sweater. Somebody can... that's somebody who's really eye-popping. We need a real eye-popping guy for this role. He's an eye-popping daddy. There you go. Sweater suit riot. Riot. <laughs> Pop your fucking eye out. Okay, when you ask if it's somebody and they don't answer, there's a good reason they're not answering. Because they're not there. Yes? Rick, Rick. Def- Rick, what are you doing, Rick? Just look Rick. at it. Rick! Rick! Coral! Rick! You're not getting your head squeezed, are you? What's Jason doing to him? <laughs> Alex has left the building. Are you with me, Alex? Yeah, I'm just... I really don't enjoy this film. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say goodbye to Rick, the most lovable character in the movie. I don't that know how was, I can finish this movie without Rick. That was some of the worst. I mean, I understand that was supposed to be 3D, but that <laughs> was that was really bad. That was like Parakeet on a fucking string bad from Freddy's Revenge. I thought it was okay. But that's just my opinion and what I thought. So she's she's the only person alive left in this film right now. Yes. Uh, the baby might still... Be dead? No, to be dead by now, probably. Yeah, the baby is dead, bro. Uh, especially... Wait, so wait a minute. You said she was pregnant. Wasn't she going to drink a beer? She said she wanted a beer later. She's pregnant, man. I'm telling you, the one that died earlier. Or this one's pregnant. One of the two's pregnant. No, it's the one that died. <laughs> what do you mean, the one that died? They're all dead. The one that died in the hammock. Pretty sure. She was going to have the guy walking on the handstand get her a beer. I guess she doesn't care that much. Yeah, it was the Wait, early 80s. I found there. a bunch of dead bodies. You know, back in the early 80s, I'm sure my mom, when she was pregnant with me, I bet you she was drinking her and smoking her ass off, which would explain a lot of my issues I still have to this day. <laughs> oh, no, the barn's got her in its sights. She's being pulled in. Abort! Abort! No, uh, you, not your sister. 
Is, was Jason just waiting to drop the body down? He he does this in three and like he does it in uh, New Blood, and uh, he he tends to do that in a few of them. But I don't know what the deal is. Does he just? Well, I'm gonna wait till they walk across them and drop a fucking dead body on them. I'm gonna make them go. Whoa! <laughs> this is gonna be great. Oh, here it goes. Oh, here they come. Like, like seriously, Jason is supposed to be this great white shark, like killer, and he fucks with people still. He's not Freddy. In one of the, in the book that's based on the original script, he laughs and like watches them and laughs and stuff hysterically. It's they so have weird. him laugh. Yes. Oh man. Maniacally. Jason, why do you do these things? I, I have, have to. to. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> Because you wouldn't like me if I didn't. You know, Master Evil, he's made us watch some pretty bad movies, but th this is coming close to breaking me. I'll get the radio, rodeo clown to sing you a song later. Man, these those windows are dirty as shit, too, by the way. Look at those things. Yeah, Rick did not take care of that place while he was no. there. What's he doing? And what, it's Jason just grabs his ass and throws him through, throws him through the window. And he's like, oh, here she comes. It's going to be good. Jason, why do you do these things? You know what she said? Uh, she said his name three times in the bathroom mirror and he appeared. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rick is Candyman. She's like, what are the odds? Another crazy looking dude is going to take me out to the woods. What is she scared of? He's just going to eventually, like, she's going to pass out and she's going to end up in her bed at home. Why is she scared exactly. to see him again? He's like, oh, no, knowledge. No, my only weakness. <laughs> Jason, take a look. It's in a book. A Camp Crystal Lake Rainbow. Good reference. Ten points. Alex gets ten points for that one. We can award each other points. They don't mean shit, but it's there for the good well, ones. You've already asked me where I was like two or three times, so how many points did I lose each time you asked me where I was? <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I was, where you at, man? I where, are you, where are you, Alex? I thought the movie killed you. Came close. I've seen enough horror movies. I'll hide in this closet. I'll be safe. I know, where, no yeah, I know where I should hide. That'd be a tough one. Isn't that like her best friend? Sister, I think. Oh, man. That's the, preg that's the pregnant one. That you keep saying. I'm not sure. She's pregnant. We're going to somehow look it up even though we're in dungeons. Who knew that Jason actually had the key and the key was in the form of an axe? Fuck it. You'd have to. There's nothing you... Up furniture. I like down furniture myself. Okay, Jason. Pretty sure you can get to the door at this point. <laughs> he was reaching for the knob. There was no knob. <laughs> Stab the shit out of this guy. He's, he's hitting like punch out left and right, left and right. He's a little Mac. <laughs> dodge left, dodge right, dodge left, dodge right. So she hit his femoral ar artery. Like if he was not zombie Jason yet, he's, he's dead, dude. Oh, he's, he's like Peter Griffin. <sighs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ooh. You're going to fall. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. I got you. He's all, I just want to take you home. I want to put you to bed. Hey, you Josh. My barn? <laughs> she thinks, <laughs> she thinks he's all scary and stuff. It turns out he's just like the South Bend shovel slayer. He just wants to, the, the wet bandits are on their way. He's actually trying to help her. And for that Home Alone reference, I award you two points. <laughs> he's all, he's all, will you please just come to the barn and set up booby traps with me? I've just been trying to help you this whole time. She throws a body through the window, the other window, just to fuck with Jason. <laughs> no, she grabs Rick again, throws his <laughs> body through the window again. <laughs> Every time a body gets thrown through the windows, take a drink. <laughs> She's like, happy Arbor Day, Jason. What? What? <laughs> Come back here. You better get to the fucking Channel 12 news van. 
mystery machine. Oh, but the bad guys took all the gas. Keys. That's how a vehicle works, right? I know I'm 30, but I'm playing a 16-year-old. The bad guys did take all the van earlier, and uh, all the gas, yeah. And the old the gas cans are where at, Josh? Where are they? They're, they're in the barn. They're in the fucking barn. Everywhere leads to the barn. Man, Jason has got some good dodging going. Jason had a, a butcher knife through the leg. Jason had a block of wood to the back of the head. And as and the first hour of the movie showed us, a machete through his shoulder the night before in his mom's shack. Yep, yep. Jason also grew like three times the size that he was in the second one. And cut his hair and his facial hair. Yeah, overnight. He's got a lot of energy. He had some... Uh, the medium rare Hostin pepper back at the Crystal Lake store. Oh, we got some army of or Evil Dead stuff going on here. Oh, there's a reserve. Nice, dude. Oh man. I just want to help you. Let me help you. God damn it. Jason's like. There's somebody in the back of this van. Get out. I do like the way he gets out of here. What the, the fuck thing, is she doing? <laughs> dude, the only thing less safe in this film than the people are any, like, auto glass that's near Jason or Shelly. Uh-oh, she's going to the barn. She's fucked, Alex. Jason's like, slow down. These pants are like two sizes too small. God damn it. Jason's just loving it that she went to the barn here. This is where he does his best killing. I, just I gotta wanna... go to my secret entrance to the barn. I just want to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> Have you super... found Jesus? <laughs> is the owner or supervisor or manager of the business available to talk? I just need 10 minutes. You don't understand. I need the commission really bad. What Fuck do shovels. you think? What do you think about the words timeshare? Aren't you glad I picked this mask instead of that clear one? Was that you think that was a good good choice? How is your gut health? Have you tried probiotics? I just want to talk to you real quick about it. Well, she's not behind the pile of chairs in the broom closet. That he could have just clearly looked at. Jason is fully concussed right now. If he was playing in the NFL, he'd be ruled out for the rest of the game after that freaking log hit to the head. Did he just look the same way the other guy was looking for him? Like he's going to be hiding underneath a piece of grass or something? Oh, please don't, don't have the ability to look up. Be like a dog, please. Yeah, please, God, don't have any head movement. But... Where's the mark on the back of his head? Right? From getting hit with that wood? That gigantic fucking log. Oh my god, woman. You deserve to die. Jason looks like me when I'm rooting around my dungeon cell after Master Evil tells us what next movie we're going to watch. I'm just hey. pissed. You notice he did not knock the canteen down? He left the canteen hanging. It's important. You do wrestling matches with the rodeo clown? <laughs> oh, my only weakness, ass. I thought I'm she was a barn better. woman. He's like, I thought you were good at handling wood. There just happens. To, did he just find the machete right there, or did he find it earlier? He just realized it was still on his shoulder, <laughs> which is not, it. which is not bleeding, by the way. That was the night before. This is Saturday the 14th, everybody, just so you know. This is not Friday the 13th. This is the next day after part two. What is the first one? That was Friday the 13th. Okay, and then the second one was the next day. Oh, then this is Sunday the 15th. I'm sorry. Yes. I stand corrected. He's like, I come here. This latex is really hard, and it's hey, really hot. Don't just gloss over it. I corrected you. Give me my points. You get a point. Right. 
You got 13 points. Yeah, I thought I was funny. I haven't got one point. No, I didn't. I didn't want points for being funny. I wanted points for being right. Ah, okay. <laughs> now hook his ass up to the. No, she puts him on there and he, she pushes him out. And he's like, "Wee, <laughs> wee." He's, he's like, "How'd you know I was into this sort of thing?" Oh yeah, yeah. we hooked up last fuck, year. <laughs> having the fucking time of his life, man. He's like, "Wait, wait, I'm not ready. To, I'm not. I'm not close enough yet. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on." He just made a noise, everybody. Either that or he farted. I'm going to go with the Jason fart. Yep, see, she's, it's, she smells. So, he got hung. If he's not a zombie at this point, he, he's dead for sure. I'm a petty son of a bitch, though. I would have taken that shovel and just smash his face repeatedly. Yeah, I, w- I would keep hitting until there was nothing left. Oh, and I'd, I'd, r- I'd run the pitchfork through him a couple times. Chop his head off for good measure, like in the original scripts. Mm-hmm. In this franchise now. No. We got the good Kane Hodder stuff, so I'm not complaining. This movie right. is like an hour and a half, and it's like an hour and a half too long. You know, at least they didn't insult our intelligence with uh, her being able to move that wood really easy now that Jason's not after her. You know what? Good call. That is actually a good... That is great continuity right there. I did not notice that until you just said that. Continuity, huh? That's not bad. Because <laughs> she's still struggling with it. That's good. Yep. yep. Five points for me. He's like, oh, this feels so good. Don't look down. It'll ruin it. You look down. Yeah. You the moment's over. They went all out for their Halloween decorations this year at Crystal Lake, man. Look at my face. Look at my face. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. I think it, the director told me to. Yeah, it makes no sense why he would do that, other than for the studio audience. Oh, I know why he did it. That was his way of saying, "Remember me." Dude got his head bashed in earlier, and why is he a hero all of a sudden? He just pops up like an hour later in the film to get slaughtered. Exactly. What the fuck? His character arc would have had him playing dead until everybody was gone and she was dead and Jason left. Then he would come out. Well, after he robbed the barn for all of its valuables and still got the gas kids. She hit him so hard that the hockey mask in part eight that is on a boat was even broken. Remember the mask he finds on that boat has the cut in it like that one? It has the exact cut. Yes. Okay, take the axe out of his head and chop his fucking head off right now. Barn! You don't, Jason's not dead until he shits his pants. Has he shit his pants yet? Uh, I can't tell over the smell of this shitty movie. Ah, uh, just fought a killer. Had one Everybody's of the worst, dead. Yeah, had one of the worst fucking nights, days of my life. I'm going to get in this canoe for no reason, other than to pay homage to the first film, which is also not very good. And now she wakes up in the van, everybody's in there, and the cops are coming, and it, you find out it's Final Destination 6. It was all a premonition. Or no, she's in the boat, she survives, and then, uh, like, she floats to Springwood. (laughs) (laughs) Swamp thing comes out of the water. Oh, that movie was horrible. We did the wrong one. Everybody was asking us to do Return of Swamp Thing, and we didn't do the right movie. Or Master Evil didn't make us do it. Yeah, because we don't have anything to do with, you know, what movies we pick, you know. Her escape plan, instead of going to the cops or calling the cops, is... Let's just get in a canoe and float for a while. She must have narcolepsy, man. She fell asleep in the woods and up against that tree where Jason found her the first time. Now she falls asleep in the damn canoe. And somehow she knows exactly what Pamela Voorhees' corpse would look like in a second. <laughs> maybe, maybe Pamela was in on that rapey stuff. Yeah, because this is going to be a delusion, right? So this is yeah. what her mind is telling her. Yeah, exactly. I think first we get Jason looking at her or something. 
Oh, you reacted like way too late to that. Wait, I was reacting to jumping before you jumped. How'd you survive make, this movie? Can I make an omission too? What's that? I jumped from that bird too. <laughs> I did too. <laughs> Why is he in the house and not the barn now? I don't know. And he, He's like, yes, yes, oh yes. One of the weakest Jasons ever. One of the weakest portrayals ever. Oh, was he smiling? He was smiling. He's into this. Yeah, there's like when, a sexual uh, yeah. part to this character in this When film. you're screaming, the whole world's screaming with you. Damn, he just blew that door up like Roy Burns, the paramedic. Yeah, he's so horny, man. He is just ready to just knock doors down. He's going to get in that canoe with her. He's like, it's been two hours. I only got two more hours before I have to see a doctor. We're doing this. Yeah, this, it all makes sense. It all came to this. Because, mom, you know, yeah. That's actually how I was kidnapped uh, by Master Evil. Mother Evil. Me that too. Her. That's yeah. how she got my ass. No, she knew what uh, Pamela looked like because she was watching the opening credits waiting for the movie to start too. You mean it wasn't the zombie lady in the lake? No, it's that, Sunday. She's off. That guy sounded like, man, that poor gal, she's been through hell. We better take her to my Italian pizzeria after this and get her a couple <laughs> sandwiches, huh? A boopity boppity beepity boopity. You just said, this guy is a friend <laughs> of the producer or a friend of the fucking a Mancuso. Because you, you said it sounded like the mob. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> guy works for Mancuso's mob, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that poor girl sounds like she's had a hell of a day. Bing, zang, boom. <laughs> Rick, Rick. <laughs> oh, Rick. Yeah, she's had a hell of a time. Let's throw her in the back of a cop car. A 19, let's throw her in the back of a 1972 cop car in 1983. Fucking further terrorize her more. Oh, the barn. The barn gets the final shot. Fuck Jason. Wait a minute. The barn. Wait a minute. Hold on. They left the bodies there. They left the bodies in the fucking crime scene like this? Yes, no tape. What? It'll, it'll set. It'll stay. Oh, my God. Okay, so Friday the 13th, part four, is Monday the 16th. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because the dude from Police Academy, who's watching the, the fitness tape with the nurse, right? Yeah. Axel. Axel. <laughs> and the payoff for sitting here watching the water is the credits. The payoff is actually, if we wait till the end of these credits, uh, uh, the leader of the Avengers will show up at the, <laughs> at the end. Nick. <laughs> Nick, Nick Fury. Fury. Nick Fury is going to recruit Savage. Jason. There's Nick Savage. Close. Jason. I need you for the Avengers. Your fucking healing factor is just unheard of. Haw Hawkeye was killed, and you were really good with that harpoon. Charlie Messenger? Really? That's his name? Special appearance. Betsy Palmer. And I wouldn't exactly call Amy Steele a special appearance. I would say that was the, the Rocky Balboa thing, where they just show what happened in the previous fight to start exactly. the movie. <laughs> Previously on Rocky. Richard Davis was a hell of a first assistant. Yeah, he was. Who was the second assistant, though? Oh, here we go. Marilyn, Marilyn Poucher. <laughs> Marilyn Poucher. She She's was a kangaroo. Good. She was good, but not quite as good. That sounds like a rock band. Eric Van Heeren Noman. <laughs> I was just... Set, set decorator. D How many Sullivan. points for that? Did I get Bonnie? any points for that? No? Okay. No, Bonnie Ballard, though. That's a great name. Hey, there's a... An 80s wrestler, Mako Kawaya. Oh, yeah. That's some, Vince got Mako Kawaya uh, on loan from New Japan uh, to show up at the Royal Rumble and make a special appearance, and no one in the crowd knows who the fuck they are. Holly Shaduck sounds like a way to not cuss. Holly Shaduck. That was a bad movie. Finish Yank. <laughs> was, he the, was he the grip? 
Dennis Yank. Use a grip. <laughs> if, yeah, if anybody needed to, if anybody's built up or tense on this set, you know, too, you know, a lot of sexual tension going on. Jason's oozing it throughout this film. You know, I'll yank you off for you. And, uh, and if, my if, job. You, if you have a complaint, you need to get to the producer. Go see Henry Messenger. Filmed with a Luma crane by Sam Seen. The producers wish to thank anybody that sat through this movie. <laughs> Damn, they are only, they're only thanking Olympia Beer, not Coors or Bud. Oh, wow, or Coke. Dude, huh. we're, just, we're just now getting the characters. Even the, even, the, even the credits can't get it right in this one. Loco. Oh, I, I said it, though, earlier. You know, this movie is terrible, but Dude. this song is a jam. It is. Larry Zerner got final credit on the list of people in the movie. He was at the very bottom of the credits, even underneath Police Officer 1 and 2. He's That's how least, sad sack he is. <laughs> my least favorite character, probably, in the Friday the 13th franchise. He's worthless. <laughs> he got bottom credit. Okay. Let, let's go. Let's go talk to Master Evil. Get this Please. over with. They are broken! Ma! It's happened! Jigasm! <laughs> Is this true, boys? Are you broken? Rapey Jason. Dude not wiping. Somehow she knew what Pamela's corpse would look like? Magical auto-fixing. Windshield somehow. They were broke and all of a sudden they're fixed in the next scene. Horrible 3D setups we couldn't even see in 3D because we didn't get to watch it in 3D. The barn being scarier than Jason in every aspect, in every part of the movie. Jason and, oh God, Shelly. Yes. I think you finally... Uh -huh. Wait, Alex, it's not too late. You and yours can make it. Just tell Master Evil, Mother Evil, and Sister Evil. Now, I'm still standing better than I ever did. What do you think, Alex? Still I think the rodeo clown is right. We're still standing. Master Evil didn't win. He'll never win. Yeah. He'll never be broken. Yeah, what Alex said. This was bad, but we're badder. Like, ooh, Michael Jackson bad. You're going to have to dig even deeper. Blasted rodeo clown. I'd slap you if I was there. But that's okay. Because we're still standing as well, and you're still our prisoners, and this movie gives me an idea, perhaps. It's time to move you boys into a new prison. Perhaps a... Don't, don't, you say it. Shit, 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 just had to run my mouth with you guys. Silence, prisoners, let my brother finish. Thank you, sister. Yes, I believe I'll set you boys up in your very own replica bonds from Friday the 13th. Every detail oh, God. to the rusty canteen. <laughs> I'll start the preparations. Oh, God, why? The horror. Indeed. Oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, yay! Alex, we have so much fun! But I will never forget that slap. So sleep with one eye open. Uh -huh. I love you guys! This is so much fun! Okay, that clown is terrifying. The prospect of the Friday the 13th 3 barn is terrifying. 
some random guy that goes house to house shaving people is terrifying. I'm terrified of everything at this point. Yeah, but you get to sleep with both eyes closed. You lucky bastard, you son of a bitch, baby, smooth skin, silky smooth, prisoner, fresh looking bastard. Can we just end the show? Please just end it. Please. Let's do this. Are we going to tell them what they are watching next? No, sister. We will once again leave that up to all the slasherholics to choose the next King of Rift Pole Tournament. <laughs> Jagasm! <laughs> Just terrified. Can we go now? Hello, slasherholics. I am Mr. Gore, and the evil family has been put under watch. Our observations will continue for now. Long live the Ministry of Evil. What up, Josh? What up, Alex Slash Track? What's going on? I'm busting in the damn hair!